Okay, here we have a, an image taken at uh, Yanchep Lagoon. We've got the, um, the main interest being this reef here. Um, the water's coming over the reef here, coming round and then flowing through, creating this whitewash here. So that would be the main interest and the, and the things I want to bring out. Um, okay, so settings for this image, uh, ISO 50, uh, the lens was at 17mm, f20, uh, 1.6 for the shutter, uh, neutral density grad uh, 0.9, uh, filter was used. Um, so I'm just going to straighten this now using the straightening tool. You just run that along the horizon and about there. Okay, that's the straightening done. First thing I want to do is um, bring out some contrast. It's pretty flat. Um, so straight away you can see that uh, before we get into that. Just uh, profile correction uh, and remove that too. <coughs> Okay, so yeah, so a bit of clarity as well globally, and then we're going to go um, and do some edits locally. So to do that, uh, we use the brush. Um, take the color out, and so I'm going to bring this reef out a little bit. So add a bit of contrast, a little bit of clarity. Um, feather the brush, flow around 70 just brush in some of that so we can bring out that reef a little bit more raw files coming out of the camera tend to be a bit flat if you're shooting in JPEG obviously it does the editing um, clarity contrast vibrance sharpening all that in in camera so shooting in raw you got to do it yourself see if I increase that, decrease it, clarity, uh, there we go, about there. I'm also going to use a the graduate filter here, so I can hold shift, keep, the, keep it horizontal, and so I'm editing the sky now. So if I put everything back to neutral, you can see as I increase the contrast, and the clarity if I wanted to here. Okay, so we're just going to add a little bit of clarity and a little bit of contrast. And there we go. This image doesn't actually need much editing at all. Um, using the filters really does um, help you get it right in camera. So I'm going to brighten that image a bit. Not that much. There, bring back some of the blacks, keep the contrast there. Okay, and pull some more out of it using the curves. So increase the bright side and then decrease the dark side, giving it even more contrast. I mean, as you do that, um, as you increase the contrast and play with the curves, you'll find it gets more saturated as well. So you you don't need um, to, do, if any to do much of this at all but uh, we'll add a little bit of vibrance <coughs> and I really like the uh, the orange reflecting in this foreground here so what I'm going to do is I could just increase this with saturation just increasing the saturation here using the brush just locally but I'm actually going to use the colour here and just add a, a just a tiny bit of orange you can see it there again you can adjust the brush feather and flow I'm just going to just brush in a little bit more orange here. It's basically just saturating that orange a little bit more. So it's one of the really nice elements of this image. And uh, that's pretty much it for the editing. Uh, the sharpening, there's not much to sharpen here, but I'll show you anyway. So if you hold Alt and uh, you've got the sharpening here at 25, that's the default. Um, and if you sharpen without masking it will sharpen everything so it will sharpen the sky and it will show any, any noise or any artifacts there it will sharpen those as well so holding the alt key and moving the mask over you can there you go it's clicked in you can um, you can sharpen more or you can sharpen less uh, so there's not much to sharpen this image so I'm going to keep it about 94 95 that'd be fine and 
and uh, that's about it. So there you go. There's the before and after. You can see it's the same image, you just uh, get a bit more punch um, and it really makes a big difference. So there you go.